We think this is a valuable project because kids actually get to make a piece of paper. So they see on a smaller scale how paper is made. And we find that teachers just love this activity. It's a great education in how something that they use every day at home is made. The first part of paper making is to get small enough pieces that the machinery can then make pulp out of it. Why are they tearing up the newspaper? Well, they're recycling the paper to make more paper. So they have to be kind of small. So yeah, that's what we do. Okay. Recycling is cool, but such small pieces? It's all about fibers. That's the basic ingredient of paper. So anytime you want to make paper by hand, you want to start with small pieces so it's easier to chop them up into fibers. Okay, but what about the paper we use every day? Where does that come from? <laughs> paper comes from trees, and these trees are planted specifically to make paper. Every time we use a tree, we plant more trees, so it's a renewable resource. Paper is made also from recycled fibers. It's a big part of our industry now. All the paper that is recovered, whether it's in homes or schools or offices, is made into new products. Well, I can see a lot of stuff ready to recycle, but how do they turn that into new paper? To do that, you need to break it down into fibers. The wood, too. And it all starts here, in a paper mill like this one. At this facility, we make about 675,000 tons per year. In two days, we'll make a strip 14 feet wide that'll go from coast to coast. That's one long paper highway. So what's next with all those logs? Shred them into wood chips. You know, they basically make paper the same way they've made it for thousands of years just better and a whole lot faster. Wow, look at it handle that bundle of trees. Wait till you see what happens next. Whoa, look at how they dump all those wood chip trucks. Yep, those chips will make a lot of paper. Think how much we use every day. Yeah, I read that in early paper mills, everything was done by hand. Right. What would they think if they saw all this today? To take a wood chip from a pine tree and by the afternoon have turned it into a piece of paper is amazing. It's like a giant chemistry experiment every day. The process is always changing. It's different every day, which makes my job exciting. Here at Ermill, we also use recycled fiber to help make paper. 24% of our fiber it comes from recycled fiber, which is old corrugated boxes. That's a lot of paper for recycling. You know, you can recycle almost any kind of paper. Yeah, because it's all about the fibers, right? Mm-hmm. And another important ingredient, too. Water is used in the paper making process to break down the paper into smaller fibers so that they can make a sheet of paper. And once that water has been used through the paper making process, it's cleaned reused again in the mill, and then ultimately it goes back into the environment. What I did was I took all of the paper that got ripped up and I soaked it in water. So now what I have is a big bucket of wet paper. Looks like this. <laughs> now we have to pulp it. And I use the Wearing Vortex 7, the Mighty Blender. <laughs> oh dear, it's a little noisy. I think this part's going to be messy. That's what they do at the mill, too. You have to grind everything up to make pulp. Ew, that looks appetizing. So that's the pulp? That's the pulp. It's what you get after you mash up the wood and recycled paper. You get paper fibers. Of course, they have to clean it too. Okay, so now you have pulp. I'm gonna show you what you will be doing. First of all, this yellow vat right here is a bin of water with some pulp already in it. And I'm gonna add more. I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the pulp that we blended. You're gonna go to the bottom of the vat, slide back and forth, 
and then lift it up flat. That way the pulp lays on the screen, it's been evenly distributed, and notice all the water dripping back into the pan. But then you're gonna reach over and get a top screen. And then you put it on top of your pulp. Now, this is the most important part. What you're trying to do is squeeze out the water. Place your hand on top and bottom and press. In the mill, they run the pulp on a traveling screen. As the pulp travels, they get the water out. This part is the wet process. Making paper means getting just the right amount of strength, smoothness, and color. You have to be consistent, too. So everything has to be controlled. Just so. Things move so fast. I'm glad a lot of it comes from paper we've recycled. Paper fibers that have been recovered can be recycled many times into many two new types of products, whether it's products you use at home or corrugated packaging. They're recycled many times, five, ten times over and over. You want to press, press. You can move your hands so that you can press. All right. And then once you've done that, you move down to this table where the rolling pins and the towels are. You're going to use a rolling pin to squeeze out the water. You've got to lean on it. Okay, really put your weight into it. Just like those big rollers in the mill. They roll it and dry it. Now we got to get the pulp off of the bottom screen. And if you take your thumb and you just roll the top edge just like that, then you can begin to peel it right off the screen. Okay? Oh, so this is where it all winds up. Yep. A machine like this can make a roll of paper 30 feet wide and 40 miles long in just one hour. Whoa, look at how it picks up that roll. Those guys are good. Okay, that's how they do it. Now we can do it too. We're very excited to have kids understand how paper is made, understand that the recycling and the recovery that they do is an important part of the process of making paper, and that they take that to their homes and they recycle at home and they recycle more at school. And it's a lifelong trait that they'll have in recycling. Excellent, Eric. Now you can